All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today I'm going to show you the new members page, which has been talked about in some of the community updates that have been going out for Discord. So here you can see there's a whole chunk here that was sent out to community servers that talks about the new members page, and this allows you to find specific people on your server a little easier. It tells you when they joined your server. You can search by which invite link they took to get onto your server, how old their account is, like what their role is on your server. And it'll even try to help you identify people who are harassing your members over direct messages by allowing you to search for people by a, whatever Discord flags as suspicious direct message activity. So if you're on a community server, and you'll notice up here in the upper left corner, I've got things like members, browse channels and events. What we're looking for is this members section. This is the new members area. I don't think this is the same one that's in your server settings. So if we go to server settings and then we go to members, it looks a bit different than what's in here. Although some of the options like the new prune features in here which we'll go over here in a sec. But what you can do from here is this is done in chronological order, starting from the most recent member, which is Sanjay, who joined my server an hour ago, followed by Tok, who joined five hours ago. It tells you how old the account is. Actually, was this account just made? Yeah, it was just made today, September 20th. Uh, and then they joined an hour ago. And then they used my public invite code, which is the one that I created. Uh, there's going to be a lot in this tutorial of ones that say unknown invite code. That's because I've just recently cleaned out all of the old invite codes that people had made on my server just to keep things from being particularly cluttered. But I can do things in this page like I can click on them and I can see their profile information, what servers that I have as mutual servers, if we have any mutual friends and when they joined and other information like that. Um, if I click on this guy, I can see his picture. I can see that he used to be known as Ravis4767. And I can also see that he's a Discord Nitro subscriber. And uh, if they have any like information like their Xbox username or whatever, it'll appear at the bottom there. And it's, it's good information to have, especially when you're investigating an incident and seeing if somebody needs to be banned or not. So you can also see over here what roles they have. Unfortunately, I've got like 300 pages of these. So if I wanted to go through roles, I'd probably go find the monster member role because those are the people that tend to actually be active, at least in part on the server. So the most recent monster member that I have that joined the server, gave themselves roles was eight days ago, Ovarin. And they've been a member of Discord for over a year, so that's good to know. They used the public invite code, and they gave themselves some roles. And if I wanted to, as I hover over them, I could either right-click and give them a role, or I could click on this little plus symbol here and give them a role that way if I wanted to. Like, if I was using this menu to give people, like, rank-ups, I could definitely do that. You've also got these three dots over here that just bring up the same menu that would happen if you right-clicked a person. And that still allows you to do things like time someone out so they can't participate in chat, kick someone, ban someone, copy their user ID, change their nickname. All of that stuff can be done from this screen. Now, there's a couple other newer features to this members page that are kind of helpful besides just being able to sort by invite code, account age or whatever, or roles. You can sort by to people who are timed out. So if you've been punishing a lot of people lately and like you want to see the list of them, you can go to there, but I don't really do that that often. Or you can also search by unusual direct message activity, which Discord has some methodology now of searching for and, I, and flagging people who are sending weird direct messages. I'm going to assume, given the people that I've had to ban in the past, that's going to be things like crypto spam, scam spams, spamming people with phishing links, trying to steal their information, trying to send them a virus. All of these things are pretty common. 
and that would I would assume is what they would flag for. But currently, I don't have anyone in this list, so I can't really show you anyone in that like realm of whatever. You can also search by username or ID if you know it or wrote it down somewhere. That is definitely an option. Let me just clear this out. All right, so the last feature that's attached to the new members page is there's a new prune ability. This allows you to prune people based on how long it's been since they've logged in, either seven days, 30 days, or whatever, and you can also add on, like, if they have a tag, include people with, like, the technical support role who haven't been logged in for more than 30 days and go ahead and prune them. You have that option, uh, which is kind of handy. That's nice if you have a community that likes to only include people that are active. Uh, I feel like it should have more options than just how long it's been since you've logged in, because, like, people do things like take a 30-minute or a 30-day vacation with their family over the summertime. So, like, it would be easy to accidentally prune people doing that. Like, I feel like there could be a little bit more logic, like excluding certain people with certain roles, not just including them. Uh, so yeah, but you can, you can easily just with a couple clicks in the prune feature, remove people that are inactive, which is nice. It helps you keep your server tidy and it does it in an automated way that doesn't require you to go through and search through 300 pages of people to figure out who's been active or not. So anyway, this has been a brief look at the new recent members section, uh, on Discord, it's this new little panel on your sidebar. It appears at the top of the page, especially if you have a community channel where or a community server underneath of browse channels and events. It's a bit different than the one you see under your server settings under members at the bottom, but you can still use the prune feature in here and you can also like search for people by role. Although this particular list is not done in chronological order, I think it's all just alphabetical, which is why all the weird symbols appear at the top. So I hope you found that helpful. I've been your host, Larry. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will catch you next time. Bye, everybody, and have a good one.